Hey, Booksmiths. Welcome back to Bite Size Booksmith. My name is Angie, and uh, I wanted to bring to your attention, I posted this yesterday on the community tab on the Bite Size Booksmith channel here on YouTube, and I actually created a book blurb bot in ChatGPT, and I, I went ahead and I shared it with you guys so you could check it out. But I did ask this question. I said, would you like to know how to create this for a specific genre from scratch? The GPT that I created is very generalized to fiction. It, it isn't specific to any genre. And it looks like a couple people were interested in learning how to create one that is specific. So that's what we're going to do today. And let me show you real quick. We'll close that. This is Fiction Blurb Bot. I've got some stuff built into it to help you to create fiction blurbs. And you can actually click on any of these prompts to get started. Or you can just tell Fiction Blurb Bot, hey, what do I need to do? And he should walk you through the steps to be able to begin crafting your book blurb. So when I am creating a GPT from scratch, I actually do a little bit of research and I talk to ChatGPT and have a conversation before I even start creating it because I want to make sure that I'm using the correct keywords. So I actually put a script together ahead of time of what I wanted to talk to chat about. So here, what do you call the description of a book? such as one offered on Amazon that helps tell the readers what the book is about. I obviously know I call it a book blurb, but I want to make sure that we are talking the same language. So I'm going to go ahead and ask that question. And note, I went up here, I clicked on chat GPT. So I'm not talking to any specific GPT. I also don't have a custom instruction or anything else involved either. So it's telling us that it's commonly referred to as a book blurb, which, great. So now we're speaking the same language. So let me go ahead and let me grab the next part. And I'll give you a, a copy of this whole chat so you guys will be able to grab what you want. So great. I thought so, but I just want to make sure we were on the same page. Pun intended. Now, what are the important elements of a bustling book thriller book blurb? And what are the key elements that the readers look for to be present in a book blurb for a best-selling thriller? So there's two key words here, best-selling and thriller. So let's see what he has to say. Okay, several key elements. The hook. Uh, it's going to tease the plot. Atmosphere and tone. Unique selling points, character introductions, stakes, pacing and action, reader engagement, testimonials or awards if app applicable. Now, testimonials and awards, I would think, would be more on the cover or especially if it's a, a print book. Also, the target audience, which is great because last time I did this, it didn't say anything about the target audience. So now the, the next question we're going to ask, is there anything else? Because it only gave us 10. It's possible there could be 15, but it just gave us 10 out of. OK, and apparently it's starting over or. It did. It just gave us hook twice. OK, apparently it decided to break. I guess I should have checked the status to see how chat's doing today. Okay, here's an important one. Avoiding spoilers. Okay. Okay, immediate engagement, sense of suspense, relatable characters, originality, genre indicators. There's a couple of things that it's missing. And here we go. So it doesn't mention anything about series. So if it's a book within a series, I don't see that indicated anywhere, as well as it doesn't talk about any kind of tropes and themes. Typically, things that are really tropey are typically a romance. You can probably see a lot more of those for a romance book as opposed to a thriller book. But let's go ahead and see what it has to say. Also, I included trigger warnings.
Okay. So, sugar warnings. Think John Wick, they killed the dog. If I would have known that, I would have never have seen that movie. Okay. And there's actually some that, that will have a, a warning. The dog is not killed, and I appreciate those. Okay, so let's go ahead and I want to split this list into the key elements, and I want to have the reader expectations separated. They're going to become two different documents that are going to go into our GPT. Okay. So here are our key elements. We've got our hook, our setting, main characters, conflict, tone and mood, unique selling points, series information, pacing, language and style, and a cliffhanger or question. And then for our reader expectations, we've got that immediate engagement, the sense of suspense, relatable characters, originality, genre indicators, no spoilers, tropes and themes, and trigger warning. Now that we've done that, I want to know, because I'm going to add an element of a persona into this GPT, and I want to know who writes these book blurbs. Let's go ahead and see. So awesome. What kind of professionals are ta uh, typically tasked with writing book blurbs in a professional publishing? And I put in also for independent publishing, it's usually the author. So let's go ahead and see what Chad has to say about this. Okay, so we've got copywriters, editors, a marketing or publicity team, the author, or the sales team. Okay, great. So I want to know, of these, which has the biggest impact? So besides the author, which of these professionals could have the biggest impact on writing the finished blurb? Okay, and it says the copywriter. So we're going to use the persona of a copywriter. Before we are finished here, let's find out a name for our GPT because I didn't do this last time and I ended up having to come back and do it later. So we'll just go ahead and do it. Now. So I'm going to turn this into a GPT. What are some possible names for this? And we'll call it a best-selling thriller book blurb. GPT. And I'm being very specific because, again, last time when I wasn't specific enough, I had to go through three different rounds to try to get a name. Okay. And so it's going to give us, here we go. I'm actually going to go with Thrill Blurb. And we're going to call it the thr Thrill Blurb Bot. Okay, now that we have done our research, it is time to make the files that are going to be part of the GPT. Now, I went ahead and already did this. I came up here and I grabbed the key elements of a best-selling book blurb. I threw it into Notepad and I saved it as a text file. The only thing that I added was I actually added the target audience because I want the GPT to prompt the author for their target audience. The next part is the reader expectations and guidelines. So again, did the same thing. I put it into note, gave it a name, and it is a text file. The last thing that I did is I went through and so I know that I need a copywriter. And then so I went through these reasons why we need a copywriter and using that as our persona. And I, again, I put them into Notepad and I made a little bit of a prompt. So I need a copywriter who specializes in crafting concise, engaging, and persuasive book blurbs for best-selling thriller books. The primary goal of this copywriter will be to write a book blurb that captures the essence of the book and entices the target audience to make a purchase. This copywriter should have market awareness and will collaborate with the author to develop a final polished blurb bring this back over off the screen and 
we will begin to craft the GPT. We're gonna come down here to explore GPTs and then come up here to create. And so now we have our GPT builder and it's asking us what we wanna create and that's the verbiage that I just created. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. We wanna create a copywriter and we have typos. That's the thing about writing in Notepad is it doesn't spell check. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire this off. So the first thing it's gonna do is it's going to try to give us a name and we'll see if the name that it gives us is better than the one that we picked. Thrill Blurb Writer. It's close, but it's not quite what I liked. So let's go with Thrill Blurb Bot. Okay, so now it's gonna generate a pro profile photo that'll go right here. Okay, this does nothing for me. Let's see, please try again. I'd like a sleek modern robot. I don't know what our robot is gonna do, but if it was a mystery, I'd have him dressed up maybe as a detective or well, I don't know. That is really super creepy. Okay, we'll go with it for now. Okay, let's, that's fine for now. I don't even know what to say about that one. That's just insanely creepy. Maybe it's a psychological thriller. Okay. So now it's asking about what's going to be inside. And I have thriller, thriller, open. There we go. There's my files. I'm just gonna say I have attached some files to help you determine the information needed from the author to create the thriller book verb. So those are just the two text files. I prefer to use text files. I think that it reads them a little bit better. I've also used PDFs. It's pretty good with PDFs as well. Okay, so it's updated the bot and how should it interact with authors? Uh, should it ask specific questions to gather information for the blurb or offer suggestions? I think it should ask, or actually let's say that it should interview the author. I love having the AI interview me because then it allows me to use my words when I want to tell it something and then it, it keeps that flow when it gives things back to me. And then that's how you end up with your own voice in using these tools. Okay, I think it should interview the author asking questions that will help craft the blurb. Okay, let's see what it does. And typically at this point, it'll ask me what kind of voice or how it should interact. Should it be friendly or personalization? Here we go. Formal, professional tone or casual and friendly. Let's go with casual and friendly. Collaborative. Okay. Uh oh. Let's try again.
Okay. So now over here in the right hand side, it will allow us to begin testing it out and seeing if we like how it works. So this is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to ask you questions so you can go ahead and put your information in here and then it will be able to take what you give it and put a spin on it. So let's go ahead and let's go try it out. And I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that we can use our new bot. But first let's go ahead and save it. So I will set it, it's available for everyone and it's called Thrill Blur Bot in the category of writing and confirm. So let's talk about the few different ways that you can use the GPT that you've created. So we're gonna use Thrill Blur Bot on this one. You can actually start your conversation here and just, can you help me write a blurb? For my psychological thriller. Okay. And so then it's going to ask you questions. Okay. So main plot point, setting, key characters. Again, these are coming from that document that I created. So if you have that information available ahead of time and you just pop it in there, then you're saving yourself some steps. So this is one way. The other way you can do it is to be in chat. Hold, we're going to for some different premises just to give us kind of an idea. Please give me five premises for a stalker thriller that features a teenage, let's not do a teenager, let's do a young pop star. Okay. So we've got the secret admirer, digital obsession, a haunted past, the copycat fan and the masked figure. Okay, cool. We're going to go with number two, the digital obsession. Please give me more information about two. And we'll just copy and paste this to make sure we get what we want. Okay. So it's going to give us a quick synopsis, gave us some names. We're just going to let this run for a moment. So after this finishes running, what we're going to do is we are going to call in our thrill bot. So at thrill blurb bot. And so now we're talking to thrill blurb bot, but we're in that chat that we started a few minutes ago. Please use the information above to write a book blurb for the thriller. Ask any questions that aren't clear. Okay, so now it's giving us a book blurb based upon what we just created. And of course it's probably not gonna be very good because we just created it out of nothing. Okay, so I created our book blurb. Okay, great. I'll also give you a copy of this chat as well so you can look at the prompts that I used and how I called in Thrill Blurb Bot.
Now, if you want to quit talking to Thrill Blur Bot, all you do is you come over here and hit the X. And now you're just back in the chat. So another thing that you can do is you can actually put examples in your chat. I'm actually going to show you, I was working in a book cover GPT. And so I took a book cover that I designed using Dolly. And then I made tons and tons of changes actually inside of Photoshop. And all the, I redid it, everything basically text wise. I was just trying to get it to explain to me how to get a cover that looks like this as opposed to one that looks like this. But it didn't follow instruction at all. It gave me some weird stuff. You can give it an example. Not only can you give it photos, but you can also give it the blurbs from other books. It'd be better if they were your blurbs. However, if you find a couple different blurbs that you like, just make sure you are using them as a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're using them to inspire your blurb. You're not copying the blurb. And so if you find a book that you really like, how the blurb is made, go ahead and put it in there and make sure you're saying to use it as inspiration. We're definitely not wanting to copy other people's blurbs. We don't do those sort of things. That's another way that you can use the book blurb. You can do it either inside of your bot and just say, hey, here's a blurb that I really like. Here's the information about my book. Please write me a blurb. I think we've covered quite a bit for today. If you guys have any questions about how I did this, any suggestions for other GPTs uh, that I could create or show you guys how to create, let me know. Go ahead and go down into the comments, add those questions, suggestions. There's going to be a lot more of Novel Crafter stuff coming soon. I just had a really long week this week and didn't get around to filming some of the longer videos. So you guys have an amazing week and we'll talk to you again soon.